What's up you guys? It's Allie Renee and I'm back with another video. I'm going to be talking about self-confidence. I know it's something we all struggle with or have struggled with and this can tie into having confidence with reaching your goals, your own self-image, the way you carry yourself in who you are. Just confidence all around, always. I'm here to help y'all. So let's get straight into this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video so you can see more. Number one, you need to pinpoint and become self-aware of your insecurities. Figure out what they are and ask yourself these three questions. Why do you feel insecure about it? Is it something you have control over? And what are you doing that's feeding that insecurity? Or what are you doing to get out of that insecurity? Going back to the first question that you need to ask yourself, why do I feel insecure about this? If it's somebody's opinion, we gonna fix that. We, I will tell you later on in the video, but if it's someone's opinion, that's gonna go, okay? If it's something that you're just simply comparing yourself to other people, well, these are all normal things and I can't judge you for it because I've done it myself. Really look deeper into that reason and like, okay, is this really worth being insecure over? Is this really worth being detrimental to my health? And for the second question is, do I have control over this? For example, your height, you don't have control over your height. I'm sorry to break it to you. If you 5'7", you can never change that. So why live your whole life being sad, being insecure, not living your life to the fullest because of your height, and you can never change that? You need to own it and be like, look, I am 5'7", and I'm intelligent, fine, and I can take your girl own it you walk around and you look proud that you five seven or that one eye is a little lower than the other eye then you people not gonna be like oh look at her eye. no you walking around with confidence if someone senses you're insecure about something they gonna dig deep into that insecurity people in this world feed off of making other people feel bad about themselves just so they can feel better about themselves you know where i'm going with that okay let me give you two options you have zero control over something you could either own it or be sad or cry baby about it which one which one we gonna choose you can be a victim and be a boss how often do i feed into this insecurity or what am i doing to get past this insecurity now when i say that i'm talking about say you're insecure about your body very common I am insecure about my stomach and I know I need to eat healthier, but I'm still eating McDonald's and Chick-fil-A and a super sugary coffee every morning. Why are you complaining about being insecure about your stomach when you're literally making the choice to have your stomach? You see where I'm going? You're insecure about not having nice things. Are you associating yourself with having nice things and being high value? If that's something you're doing, then you're feeding into the insecurity. You're making yourself more insecure because you're choosing to validate yourself with materialistic things. You know what? You need to be like, okay, you know, I don't have the money right now, but I'm going to work. I'm going to make a plan. I'm going to take action and get to where I need to be. I'm going to sit and play victim. I'm going to make a plan and go forth with that action. What you're not changing, you are choosing. If you are insecure about your body and you're not doing any action to change it, you are choosing that. If you are insecure how much money you're making, not working harder, you're not putting in 140%, you're not over committing, you're choosing. You're you can't be mad at the result if you didn't do the work. Number two, realize that we are all so self-aware. So most of the time, people are probably not even thinking about what you're insecure about, but they're thinking about themselves. Oh my gosh, um, my shoulders probably look really broad right now. The other girl is probably like, oh my gosh, is my stomach bulging out? Like, they're not paying attention. We're just sitting here like, like this. When the other person is probably like this, and they're probably just overthinking it and to control your mindset. Disciplining your mind is so important. Your mind is so powerful and sometimes the negative part can outweigh the positive. Like, nope, not today, not today. Number three, I preach all the time. Think of your top three priorities. Five seconds. All right, you got them? That is my health, wealth, and happiness. Now, when I associate that, 
as being my top three priorities. Those are the only things that I'm focused on right now. With that being said, it's a person's opinion on my hair, this person's opinion on the videos I make, this person's opinion on my body. Does it affect my success, health, or wealth? Oh, who are you? You have to really align your priorities and only focus on them. All that extra stuff, all this, the fear of failure, the people's opinions, you need to leave that out the picture because that's not what we're looking at. We're keeping our eyes on the prize. Look, we got three lines. This opinion over here, we're not looking over here. We're not looking over there either. We're looking straight. Becky's opinion and Laquandra, they ain't even doing what you're doing. They're not even on your level. All they can do is talk mess about you because ain't nobody talking about them. Ain't nobody talking to them because they not doing nothing with their life. They just want to bring you down. Okay? Get it through your head. Gotta keep your eyes on the prize. My next tip is the importance of self-talk. The greatest enemy lies in between your ears. Now for my slow people out there, it's you. You know, in between your ears. I know, I don't worry, slow people, I got you. Negative self-talk, so detrimental to us. The only thing stopping you from succeeding is you. You choose to allow it to keep doubting yourself, to believe in other people's opinions. You think that you're unworthy and you're not capable. You have to learn to speak kindly to yourself. I don't mean think them, y'all. I mean say out loud. You need to go in the mirror and say, look, I'm beautiful, I love my freaking hair, my, and I am so ambitious. Because oftentimes we are just bombarding ourselves with the negative. Ooh, why do I look like that right here? Ooh, I don't like how this looks on me. Like, when's the last time you said, damn, I look fun. A little fun piece of wine, okay? How many boys gonna snatch me up tonight? You need to be your own hype man, okay? Your life is as good as your mindset. Your life is as good as your mindset. For the people in the back, your life is as good as your mindset. You got to change your mindset if you want to change your life. One who is not in control of their own thoughts will not be in control of their life. The next topic I want to talk about is other people are always going to doubt you. There's always going to be people doubting you. Always. It's never going to go away. You can't avoid it. It's going to happen. Let me tell y'all something. The moment the week... The broke-minded, the poor-minded see that you're striving for success, aka something they won't create for themselves, they will attack. They'll criticize you and they'll make you think that your dreams are too big or you need to think realistically simply because they are settling for this average version of themselves. And you gotta believe in yourself because honey, let me tell you something. You can't expect others to believe in you if you don't even believe in yourself. So we gonna start with that. You gotta believe in yourself before you even expect others to believe in you. And even with that, even with you believing in yourself, people are still not gonna believe in you. So you gotta be able to face the apprehension you experience, stand up to it and make it a dog fight. And if somebody don't believe you, just be like, I watch. You don't even gotta talk, stop talking. Don't be talking, just do. Make the action, just do. You don't, you don't even gotta talk, you don't even gotta talk about it. Now I wanna talk about how I would advise getting over specific insecurities. My number one thing is take baby steps. So I wouldn't advise you guys to just, okay, I, I'm i so insecure about my body, so I'm just gonna wear a bikini for the first time in six years. No, I'm not saying take a big leap like that. If you if you can do that, go go for it. We, we like to go big or go home, okay? You know what I'm saying? For this, a better approach for everybody is to take smaller steps. An example of me, I used to have a huge fear of speaking to be seen. I was tall, I was overweight, I was shy. I was super insecure about literally everything. And I realized I wanted to change. I wanted to be able to speak to people. I wanted to be able to make friends. So my way of taking baby steps was like, okay, when I'm in the store, I need to compliment three people. It was tough, but I got over it and soon enough, I was able to do five people, then 10 people, then 15 people. And then I was like, okay, I'm not gonna do this anymore. I still compliment people, but like, I ain't forcing myself to. Another thing I would do, anytime in school I had a presentation, I always told myself I need to volunteer to go first. For like three years of high school, every time we had an opportunity to present, I volunteered to go first. It really has helped me with my public speaking, with conversation. I had to force myself to be in those uncomfortable situations. And I 
completely believe that discomfort and uncomfortable situations is where we grow. That's the only way you grow. Grow, You grow from failure. You grow from discomfort. You grow from pain. Like, those are like, that's what shapes us. Another thing I would advise is we have days where we're confident and we have days where we're a little less confident and it kind of moves up and down like even with body dysmorphia i know some of you guys understand what i mean by that i'll get into that in another video but you know you have days where you really love how you look and then you have days where it's like man big shirley when you're having a more heightened day a day of high confidence take out a piece of paper and write to yourself or even in your phone in your notes write a letter to yourself so when you are feeling a little less confident you have something to go read and be like you know what yeah i am beautiful i am courageous i am intelligent i am worthy i am a big part of people's lives my next piece of advice when trying to get over your insecurities is stop trying to please everyone you can never please everybody you can check all the boxes but there's always going to be someone who finds a way to hate on you and that's that's not an issue it's life and lastly of course this kind of ties it up letting somebody's opinion of you become your reality if somebody thinks you're unworthy that doesn't mean you're unworthy it's what they think if somebody thinks you're ugly it doesn't mean you're ugly it's what they think there is not one person in this world that everybody thinks is attractive not one there's gonna be that person like uh not really my type and then there's gonna be like oh my gosh that is like my king what are you talking about you're not gonna be everyone's cup of tea their opinion doesn't matter and back to your priorities if it don't affect my success health or wealth it don't matter next i want to talk about realizing how your confidence is coming in the way of your potential you are limiting your potential with these insecurities do not let your fear of failure overweigh your desire to succeed you may be fearful of not making it if you want to sing if you want to act if you want to become an nba player if you want to be a motivational speaker you have every opportunity to but you know what's stopping you you and your fear to fail guys you cannot skip out on opportunities simply because you are scared because you don't know if that opportunity is ever going to show up again you're fearing something that hasn't even happened yet aka embarrassment or failure and i have to tell you guys fear is actually a really good thing the absence of fear is often an indicator that you're just being average you're not doing anything over the top basically an indicator you're you're going the safe way you're doing what's realistic you know, it's a good thing and if you're fearing something that that's an even bigger sign that you should go for it change your mindset associate it with something positive with something empowering like yeah i fear this but that's because it's so big it's so powerful it's gonna take me to the next level that's why i'm fearing it and that's why i should definitely go for it next i want to talk about the people around you the people in your circle you need to focus on keeping positive mindsets similar mindsets around you you feel like you're in a group that's constantly making you feel less or you feel like you can't really talk about really what you want to do and what you're really passionate about without them bringing you down or making them think like huh, yeah but they're simply just not doing anything with their lives so it's like you can't speak about your goals your achievements without it feeling like you're bragging and don't be a scared to drop people because some people just simply are not equipped to move to the next level they're settling where they've been where you met them you may have met them where you guys were both at this level but they're not equipped to move up to the next level like you what you're trying to do you're inching to move up to the next level but this person's bringing you down because they're not ready to move to the next level or they don't want to move to the next level but that's when you need to let them go okay people have their seasons in our lives and maybe th this ain't their season no more their season has passed their season was winter now it's summer we need to move up and we need to go forward and we need to reach success you're not gonna stay down there with them let them be down there they're gonna figure it out so leave the past in the past and where people are trying to deplete you god is trying to complete you 
I feel like preaching. God, God is doing everything for you and for your favor. And there's going to be people and little little things thrown in your road and little people thrown in your road that are going to try to deplete you and try to bring you down. But you got to you gotta keep your eyes on the prize and be like, you know what? Putting my feelings aside, putting our history aside, I got to let you go because I got to move forward and go more towards what God has for me. Okay, get out of the damn time excuse my language get out of the toxic relationships stop with situationships y'all what what is this glorifying toxic relationships stuff going on what is this a distraction and pain to our mental health and why are we doing it in situationships y'all if somebody ain't willing to date you within three to six months then you need to go it's not going nowhere you wanna you don't want to fail in life over a little boy or a little girl i'll get more into that in another video because i could talk about that all day my last tip is searching for validation in other sources other than ourselves and god your validation is not found in the clothes you wear the money you have what people think of you your success status you validate your own self this person cheated on me that doesn't mean i'm not worthy of love don't don't let these create insecurities and i'm gonna end this video off with reminding you guys don't be afraid of failure don't be afraid of a bumpy road don't be afraid of coming out of your comfort zone you can do it you have every capability to do what you are deemed to do in this life positive vibes only Throw on some motivational videos. Listen to my videos while you're driving. Listen to my videos while you get ready. You know, you're, when you're in the shower, listen to uplifting music. I love my gospel music. I love me some Kirk Franklin. Okay, it don't gotta be it don't gotta be gospel, but just listen to uplifting things. Don't feed into the sadness. Don't feed into the negativity. Don't listen to negative things. And you watch, you can thrive. And I'm gonna end this video with what God has for you or whatever you believe in, it is sealed. That promise is sealed. So you need to not let your opinions or any or anyone else's opinions get in the way of that because of what, what's for you is for you and it's gonna be there. You just gotta keep working and live by faith and not fear. But I love y'all and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and drop in the comments what you liked what you took the most out of in this video and what you want to see more of. Thanks y'all. Love y'all.